Hi guys, it's Kayla from Kayla of Joy Equine Art, and I am hosting my first model horse show ever. It's going to be a novice show, and it's coming up in like only two weeks. So I wanted to do a quick video just to kind of show people the basics of showing model horses, um, and try and help answer a few questions that I've gotten, and um, answer questions that I don't think are answered in other videos. So I'm from Region 10, um, and we have like a special website for us to help us create um, leg tags and to help print a horse list and stuff like that. So basically a model horse show is kind of like a real horse show in the way that the horses are judged on basic confirmation um, and then judged on like if their color matches their breed. So if there was a Palomino in an Arabian class, it probably wouldn't do well because Palominos are not um, a typical Arabian color. All right. Um, I hope that helps clear things up a little bit. Um, usually there's different divisions at shows, so there would be an original finish, which would be an original regular Briar model, I don't think I have one around here, um, <laughs> on hand at least, not right now. Um, these are the Briars the way they come from Briar. So original finish is anything that you got the way it was originally created. Um, it would be, you know, a model that you've taken out of the box, just the way it is no customization. So the custom division is different. Um, I actually do have a lot of custom models. Um, so let's see, this is one that I'm working on right now. You can see he is the, um, I think it's Dundee mold, but he's been custom painted by me. So I painted his hooves and I painted his whole Appaloosa pattern and everything. Um, that would be a custom model. Uh, okay. There's also performance divisions and performance divisions you actually create a little scene, so you'll tack your horse up with the tack, and you'll have a maybe have a rider or something like that, and you'll create whatever scene you're trying to portray, whether it's show jumping or cross country or um, cattle roping or western performance, something like that. So, all right, um, I did mention the Region X site, and I have it up on my computer. Can I Here is the Region X website. So this is a great website for um, people in New England. Uh, it's going to really help you a lot at your model horse shows. What you're going to want to do first is click start here. This is going to bring you to a screen where you're going to enter basic information like your email and you'll sign up for an account. Once you do this, you will get your own Region X number. And this number is a three digit number that each individual person has a different number. It's great for helping identify um, a certain person's models at shows. So we're going to go to our horse list and we're going to click add horse. Now I'm going to give this a random number. You can give your horse any number you want and we're going to give our horse a name. So I'm going to give my horse the name Mia and she's going to be an Arabian. Now we're going to select the gender. She is a mare. And here we have our category. So this is going to be original finish plastic. This model is the way she came from Briar, so she will be original finished plastic. Age, this doesn't really matter much. Um, I don't think the judges really look at it at shows too often. Um, and then notes, we can put in anything we want about the horse, maybe what her original name from Briar was. That's helpful for identifying which horse it is. Once you have a lot of horses, it gets a little confusing. So we look at our list here and we see Mia is way down here at the bottom. And these check marks select all the models that we want to take to a certain show. So I'm going to select Mia. She'll be going to this show. And I'm going to come back up to the top and go to my tag manager. From here, I can go to horse list. And this will allow me to print out a list of all my horses that I'm going to have at the show. This is great to bring to the show. The A lot of the um, show holders like to have this horse list. It helps them keep track of what horses were at the show and anything that they might need like that. Uh, okay, so my computer is clearly being really, really slow. Let's try this again. Horse list. Okay. Oh, nope. Sorry. I clicked on the wrong thing. We want to go to print horse list. Sorry about that. I've done this so many times now and my computer hasn't recorded things right, so <laughs> giving it a third try. Um, so selected horses only, 13. These are the horses that I selected out of my 216 horses that I have. If I click print, it's going to give me the list of the 13 horses that I would plan to bring to a show. Um, you can print this out 
and bring it with you. It's also great for keeping track of what placings your horses get. I like to use these blank spaces here to record what place my horse came in at the show. Now if we go back, we can go to print tags. This is going to be so helpful for printing out your name tags. Um, you'll see these a little bit later in the video. I'll show what the name tags need to have and give some little tips on those. So we want to only print the selected 13. And here you can see the tags. So what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to print this and then cut out around this. And you're going to either glue or tape these onto um, the little yard sale tags. So you'll see those a little bit later in the video. Don't worry. Okay, so other things you might want for your model horse show besides your models um, <laughs> would be, I like to have pony pouches. So I've got these and they are just like a little fleece lined pouch. So I've got just some cheap fabric that I got from Martin's um, and then I've got this nice fleece liner. These are super easy to make. Um, let's see. You can kind of see my little seam that I sewed. So I just sewed my fabric together and I turn it inside out. And this is a pony pouch and this is going to protect your model on the way to the show. You're going to want to keep your models in stuff like this or um, if you don't have these, you can just wrap them in large t-shirts. Just wrap your models up in large t-shirts and gently, carefully stack them in. I usually use um, a laundry basket, so I'll just stack all my models inside their little pouches gently in a laundry basket and then carry my laundry basket into the show hall. Um, some people use Rubbermaid tubs or um, like a duffel bag or something like that. They all work. A few other things you're going to want. Um, these are my little tags that I have. So these are the little name tags. You'll see them later on a model in the video. But these are really cheap. You get them at Walmart. You're going to want these, trust me. Um, and one other thing that I like is a little makeup brush. If you have one of these, it is so helpful for model horse shows. You'll see horses get a little bit dusty and it's great just to go up and dust your horse off real quick, just so it looks nice and clean. That way, if there's like a big piece of lint that you missed or something, the judge isn't going to see that piece of lint and think it's a scratch or an issue with the model. So your show models, you want to be in fairly good condition for shows. The better the condition, usually the better the models are going to do. Now, I've got my model here. I'm just going to slip her right into this little pouch. Um, I do have different size pouches for different models. So there we go. She's in her pouch. She's ready to go in the laundry basket and head off to the show. Now um, we'll head into the model horse room and see how a day at the show kind of goes. Okay, so here we have our show table. And so at a model horse show, you'll have usually um, something like what you see in the background where it has what the class number is and what breed that class is being judged on. Now, um, typically there's gonna be multiple six foot long tables with all where people can put their horses for the judge to judge. Um, typically, there might be two classes going at once, so you might have class one Arabian and class two, um, maybe Saddlebreds or Morgans. Now, all of the horses should have leg tags. For this example, I didn't bother taking the time to put leg tags on all the models, but you can see here I have my little leg tag. So there's my um, Region X number, like I went over on the website. I gave this horse number 304, just a totally random number. At the bottom, it says OFP for Original Finish Plastic. Just lets the, know, the judge know what type of model this is um, so that they can make sure it's in the right um, division. Now, at the top, you'll see it says Arabian. That is our horse breed. And it says M. So the M is for Mare. So if it was an S, it would be Stallion. Um, it just lets the judge know what gender the horse is supposed to be. And when you're showing your models, you always want this tag to face up like this. You want the breed to be on top. So this prevents any bias of the judges. So the judges can't see your name and go, oh, you know, Kayla always has great horses. I'm going to give her first place. Um, now I have the horse's name here, Mia, and my name. And this is usually the judge will, as the judge goes around the tables, um, when they're pinning the classes and they've selected which horses they want to win, they'll flip over the tag and just write down the horse's name and usually the owner's initials. All right, so here you see I have another tag for him. 
again, I didn't do tags for all the horses just because it took a little time and I was in a hurry to make this video. But um, so he has all his information on the tag as well. And this one is handwritten. It is totally a-okay to handwrite them. All right. Now, let's look at this class here. So, all right, so these are our horses in the Arabian class. And we're gonna um, try to think of it like a judge would. So typically the judges want the best horse that represents the Arabian breed. That means confirmation is correct. The coloring of the horse is correct. There's a lot of factors that go into this. So let's look at our first horse here. Um, the first thing as a judge that I would think about is, is this a real Arabian color? Do they come with spots like this or is that incorrect? And Arabians typically are known for being gray, black, bay, chestnut. Um, typically anything with um, spots would have to be some sort of a cross breed. So this might be an Arabian Appaloosa mix, but it's really not a very good Arabian. Um, and let's not forget her confirmation flaws. So this model has a lot of confirmation flaws that you're going to see when we compare her to the other horses. So you can see her legs here, they're really thick and chunky and they don't have a lot of details. There's not a lot of muscle detail here, which I don't really like. Um, another thing that I'm going to notice is her face is kind of really thin. So she's got a very slender face. She does have that Arabian dish that's typical of Arabians. Um, but you look at her neck here and it's kind of, it's very thin here and it just looks a little funny. Um, there are many, many things kind of going on here with this one that don't really make her a good show horse. So she's got a funny shape to her body. She's kind of just very long and or not really long, but she's kind of just one solid oval. Looks almost like you could draw just a big oval. She doesn't really have a whole lot of shape to her or definition. So she's not gonna do very well usually at shows. Right, so then we come to this guy here and he is, he doesn't look anything like an Arabian, does he? He is a Clydesdale, I would guess. Um, you can see the feathering on his legs. That's not typical on Arabians. He doesn't have that Arabian dish in his face, and he's really kind of um, bulky for an Arabian. Arabians are known for being sleek and slender, and he is not. So um, I would not have put him in this class if I were a shower. And then we're going to move on to this Arabian mare here. So she's not bad. She's pretty good. She is gray, and Arabians can be gray. Um, she is not terrible, but she's also not great. So she's kind of got a big belly here. And, um, that would be typical of, like, an older horse. So she's got a suede back. She's probably not in her best, um, show condition, you know? Um, she looks like she's a little older and has probably had foals. So she's not your typical show horse. And we've got this little guy here. He is very cute. He's a little Arabian. He's standing nicely. He really has a lot of good features that we like to see in an Arabian horse. So he's got that slender build. He's got that nice little dish to his face. And then we've also got this guy. He's also an excellent example of an Arabian. We can see he's got his dish, or not his dish tail, sorry, his, uh, his high set tail. So that's typical of the Arabians. They tend to have that high set tail. He does have the dished face. <laughs> uh, you can see he's got a slender neck. He's got a lot of really nice muscling here in his shoulder. And see, you can definitely see the definition and the difference in his legs versus the first horse we saw. So he would be an excellent Arabian. Now once the judge is finished with their decisions, they would go around and they would place the horses. So for this example, I only have four ribbons just because... Um, I didn't take the time to print out a whole lot of ribbons or make a whole lot of ribbons for this. It's just an example. Me as a judge, I would probably place this Arabian first. I really like all that muscle detail um, and just his overall look. He's a very nice Arabian. This little guy I would place second. So he's not a bad Arabian. He's actually a really good one. Um, but he just doesn't quite have as much muscle detail. So I'll give him second place. 
And then we have her. Like I said, she's not quite in her prime show condition. So I'm going to give her third. And now we're down to the last two horses. And this is really tough. So he technically shouldn't even be in this class. He's not any sort of Arabian type at all. Um, he is a very nice Clydesdale, and he would probably do well in a Clydesdale class, but he doesn't belong here at all. So I would give my fourth place to her, just because um, she could pass as an Arabian type, although she technically doesn't have the right color. Now, at this show, there's also going to be Region X cards. Okay, so the top three horses are going to get one of these little cards. So these are the qualifying cards. And we're going to give it to him because he got first, him because he got second, and her because she got third. So these three horses would all be able to go to the year-end show, the Region X show, and show. So that is so exciting. Um, and, you know, the Region X is a pretty big deal. The cards are great um, for horses to earn. There's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching.